Hi everyone! I am back with a card making video today. I know some of you have missed my card making videos. I just didn't have anything to create. Um, huge blank. So I've just kind of been doing other things, uh, mostly my beadwork. But today I'm going to show you, if you follow me on Facebook, then you would have seen a post that I did about making these little Mickey heads out of, oh, and I should have grabbed it. This is using the Swirly Bird die set. No, Swirly Scribbles. I'm sorry, Swirly Bird is the, um, the stamp set that goes with it. I don't have that, I just have the dies. So this is called Swirly Scribbles, and the dies look like this. Got a whole set of them in here. So this is what the die set looks like. I put mine on a magnetic sheet, so that doesn't come with it. Um, and I used the smaller one here for the ears, and I used the medium-sized one for the body. Now I've also made one where I used it's kind of stuck on there um, the larger circle for the body, and then the medium one for the ears. And that just turns out that's a bigger Mickey head, so you'd have to put that on a larger card obviously but um, the stamp set that matches this has like leaves and flowers and stuff I think with it um, and this swirl thing right down here is really cute I just haven't used it yet so uh, since I did all my Mickey heads in black because that's what colors you know Mickey's head is I decided I kinda wanted to use these for some Halloween cards so I came up with an idea and I just attached them together with some glue so however you want to attach them this is this is the card that I came up with I love it I think it's super cute so I'm gonna mix some Stampin' Up with Martha Stewart this goo punch right here um, I don't know if this is still a current item I know you can get it online, but I don't know if they carry this in the stores or anything anymore. I have no idea. I got it a long time ago. So I'm going to show you how I made this card. So the card base is a regular A2 size card, and I cut it at 4 and a quarter by 11. So on my 11 inch side, I'm going to score it 5 and a half. And then that's it. That's my card. So we'll just fold this in half, get it lined up here, fold that in half and give that a good score. So there's the card base. Now my mat, my black mat, is 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 That's going to go right there on the front, so we're just going to go ahead and attach this down. Just center this right here on the front. Just like so. So there's that piece. Now my polka dot piece for the top half is cut at four by three and three eighths. And then my bottom piece is cut at four by one and seven eighths. So, I'm actually going to tape these pieces together. Um, it's just easier for me to put on if I do that. Because I'm going to cover the seam up with some ribbon anyway. So that gives me my full, this would be four by five and a quarter. And that's going to go right there. But what I want to do first is I want to make my drippy goo. So I've got some Hello Honey. That's what, if I didn't say that, that's what this pattern paper is. And I'm going to go ahead and 
punch out my goo here. The green color that I used on the card that I showed is Old Olive. So that's what color this one is. Now I'm going to trim my goo and I'm going to line this up where this meets the half inch. So not the bottom of the goo here, but like right where um, it starts kind of dripping. I'm going to line that up on my half. And then I'm going to go ahead and just slice that and then it'll look like this. So then I'm going to make sure that this is four inches across. So I'm going to trim just a tad bit. Um, yeah, just a tad bit off that side. And there we have our drippy goo here. So, whoops, didn't mean to bump the camera. We're going to go ahead and attach this just with some ATG tape here. I'm just going to line it up underneath the piece of Hello Honey, just like so. Okay, now I'm going to take some eyelet ribbon. This is just black eyelet ribbon from Michaels. You can use whatever. Um, you could wrap some twine around it if you really wanted to, or use a ribbon that doesn't have the eyelets. Your choice. I just really like this ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a strip of ATG tape right across there. And then I'm just oops, going to place my ribbon down over that seam. Just kind of overlapping it. So there we have that. I just put a couple little strips back here for the ribbon. There we have that. Now we can take this whole piece and attach it to the front. This is really a super easy card to make. And you can pick whatever colors you want to do. Um, I think I'm going to try to do one in one of the purples. I just haven't decided which purple I want to use. Maybe the rich raspberry. Okay, so then we're just going to press this down. Just like that. Then I'm using, this is a retired set. It's called And Many More. Um, I'm going to use the... It's got Happy Halloween, there it is, Happy Halloween from this set. So if you've got Halloween stamp sets that say Happy Halloween or whatever that you want to stamp down here, then I would use those. I just don't have any Halloween stamps, like, at all. Like, this is kind of, this is it. <laughs> so I'm going to do some Hello Honey stamping. And I'm going to stamp it on just some white. And then I'm going to punch this out with my word window punch, which unfortunately is another retired product. So if you've got it, cool, go ahead and use it. If not, you can use anything that would punch out your sentiment. And I'm going to use another, where did my black piece go? 
Um, I'm going to use another retired punch. This is the modern label punch that just went out a few months back. I love this one. I use this one for like everything. Okay, so now we're going to take our modern label and I'm going to use these little rhinestones that I got at my scrapbook expo a few years ago and just cut a couple of rhinestones off. These rhinestones are really clear. I like them. But they come in a strip, so you have to cut them. I know you guys have seen me do that before, so it's not a big deal for me. Okay, so there's my rhinestones. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my sentiment right there in the center of that. I don't think I punched my Happy Halloween very well. <laughs> oh, very centered. So there we have our sentiment piece. Then I'm just going to take... Actually, I'm going to put my Mickey head on first. So I'm going to take my little Mickey head and flip it over. We're going to put some glue on it, and I'm just going to put dots all the way around, so that way it will stick down. So this takes a couple minutes to get all these little dots all over here, kind of reminds me of some of the cards I did. Don't know if it was last year. Might have been with the little spider web doilies. You kind of have to do the da the same thing where you just dabbed on the glue glue on the back. So they're so intricate. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up this Mickey head and I'm just going to kind of center it on here. Like so, we're going to kind of oops, push that one down. Takes a minute for this to adhere. There we go, so there's our Mickey head. You could turn this into mini by adding a bow if you wanted, um, which I might do to a couple of them because I just love the bows. And I think the bow builder punch would fit perfect on there. So that's another option. You can have some that are Mickey, some that are mini. If you like the idea of doing Mickey and Minnie themed cards. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to try to center this little sentiment here. And there we have it. There is our finished little Mickey Droopy Goo cards. I hope you guys like these and give them a try. They're super cute, super easy, and you can see they kind of went they kind of went fast. The the longest process of the whole thing is going to be um, die cutting all of your little heads and gluing those together. So if you did those ahead of time, like I did, you can come up with a whole stack of them and they're ready to go. So there you have it, a really super cute and quick and fun Mickey themed Halloween card. As always, my link is in the description if you guys want to go over to the website and check out this die set. This is swirly scribbles and here is the product number right down here in the corner if you are interested so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye